Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Transport Fever. So let's see how this works. See if this adds in a little bit extra. I've completed three trips across the bridge over there. Here come these. I'm not going to get much in the way of passengers there to start with. They've got to drive around the whole thing. All right, they don't do anything to start with. Zero of eight. So there won't be passengers there. They're going to start driving this long distance journey over here. And then you guys over there. They may start coming up through. I mean, maybe it would have been better if I'd stuck that one in the middle somewhere. I'm not really sure. We've still got the land hours in here. No, the, the, the basons going in through here. Four trips of five. And it's... We might actually do it now. Getting rid of that stage. Getting rid of that up there may have been the answer. Look, I'm four of five. It's September at the moment. Am I going to do it? I'm so close. Four of five trips. I didn't even realize it was doing it. I'm down to 300,000 at the moment. I'm hoping that's going to change. I don't think it really matters. Go on. October. Still four of five. I've got... These trains were a long way away. Those were a long way away. There's a train. There's a train there. That one's coming in. Is, it, is he going to count? Is that one going to go in? Is it November right now? It takes a month for it to get from the outside into the station itself. Yes! Oh, that's brilliant. And I did all of them as well. Look, on time. I even got that one. Build the bridge before 19... Uh, I did build the bridge before 1902. Oh, that is amazing. So awesome. Our next mission. The new century is still young. But things don't look good. Tensions in Europe are rising. Hopefully, everything will turn out well. Fortunately, transportation services are always in demand, in good times and in bad. You just can't have any scruples about who you get involved with. In any case, it's certainly worthwhile to be well prepared for any eventuality. Uh, okay. Well, we're obviously gearing up towards... The te tensions are rising in Europe um, through the end of the... 1800s and the very early 1900s we know all about that and looking at this well supplied achieve a supply of foodstuffs to 10 percent the affected cities in less than six years shamelessly rich mass of wealth of at least 50 million despite the hard times squirrel stockpile at least 500 foodstuffs before the war begins make sure that no city has supply of food of over 30 percent while another goes empty-handed Fairly distributed and hard times. Never let the food supply fall below 5% during the war. This could be rather difficult to carry out. Not quite sure where we are, to be honest. I don't really know where these bits is. This, this could be... Um, is it this, uh, like Denmark and that? No. Uh, up, up in the Netherlands, I mean. Not really sure. The year is 1914 in beautiful Scandinavia. Fortunately, we are separated from Central Europe by the North and Baltic Seas, because things are getting noticeably uncomfortable there. Tensions are increasing. We are in the comfortable situation of sitting on top of gigantic deposits of raw materials, which someone will probably need very soon. On the other hand, we are dependent on foodstuff imports if we want to eat something other than crisp bread and rotten fish. Secure our country's basic supply for whatever may come. Right. We've got those five medals that we can do. Secure... Germany needs huge amounts of steel. We don't know exactly what they need it for, but we are in a position to deliver that steel. In return, we can import foodstuffs. For example, good beer, which is in extremely short supply here. Supply the cities of Malmo, Gotberg, and Jokoping with at least 10% foodstuffs. The supply indicates what percentage of the annually consumed foodstuffs are delivered to a city on average. Deliver steel for export to Malmo Harbour in Malmo. In return, the harbour will provide imported foodstuffs which can be delivered to the cities. Coal and iron ore are needed for the production of steel. And deliver the raw materials to the Jokoping steel mill. Right, so basically we've got to supply everybody with food. So, to start off with, we've also got a quest right there of some kind. I don't really know what that one is yet. 
Let's have a little look around the map, shall we? To... Fortunately, everything is fairly level on here, which is, this is a good thing. I like that it's, it's, it's all fairly level. I've got a farm right here, which I can't do anything with at the moment. Uh, what I do have here is food... Uh, that's the food storage place. Right. That requires raw materials of some kind. Then over here, the steel mill... We've got the iron ore mine up there over here. I've got a quarry which produces stone. Where do I get the coal from? We've got to get food into the three cities. Ah, there's the coal mine over there. So at the moment, I've got roads. I've got 15 million and I've got roads. So... I mean, I mean, I would guess that trains would be the way forward with this. Definitely want to be heading towards trains. Details, product, what is that? Okay, I don't know what that product is. You've got the steel there, but I don't know what that one is. And then if we look over here, you've got Gottberg over here. We need to be able to supply food into that town. We need to be able to supply food into Jopkoping as well. And there was, what was the other supplies? Um, deliver steel for export to Malmo Harbour. Oh, right. Malmo, here's Malmo over here. So that's construction materials plant. We need stone and I'm assuming that's, oh it is, it's slag there. So slag for there, and then we get construction material, which in turn goes up over there to the food storage. I've got the coal mine there, and this one right here is steel. We take the steel there, and we get bread coming back. So 15 million. That would be good for setting up a train network to start off with. We want to we wanna be able to build a train network around this whole place. We've got roads already, so I could start things off by doing road transport between all of these what road transport have i got does it actually tell i don't it doesn't say what vehicles i've got it just tells I and mean, i'm going to need to be able to build some of this according to rumor a german u-boat sank a swedish schooner with a valuable cargo five thousand bottles of champagne 67 barrels of cognac and 17 barrels of wine were stored on board the one who finds this treasure will be a real lucky duck. The lady from the harbour should know more. Question the lady at the harbour about the treasure. Right, well, I can't click on it. Find the lady. Oh, there. Right. So now we're going to speak to the lady. The lady from the harbour said she could help us. Recently, a message in a bottle washed up on the pier. She gave us the note, written in a scrawling hand. It says, We're hick sinking ship hick in dis dis distress don't hick let the good stuff go bad look hick on the coast in the east <laughs> okay brilliant reading there masterful absolutely masterful performance there uh follow the clue from the message in the bottle follow uh on the coast in the East. Right. Oh, there we go. Look. Right there. Look. See? There's there's the arrow. It, it must be somewhere. Question mark. Here. We'll send out a boat to locate the spot and salvage this valuable barge. Find the treasure underwater. Search for treasure. Somewhere around here there is treasure. So we know that we've got a treasure hunt. Oh, wait. Can I look underwater? I can see it right there. I can see the boat. See? There's f -f found it. How lucky can you get? We found the sham 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 booze ship. <laughs> okay. Uh, right, well we found the boat. What does that get us? Yeehaw. Medal. It didn't get me a medal. It didn't get me anything. I don't think that got me anything at all. That's a bit of a shame. I didn't need to send a boat out at least. Uh, right, now where was I? I was talking about potentially what are we going to do over here. I could set up a load of road transports 
on all of these so I can start moving things around right now without having to worry about railways at all. That being said, I think railway is probably the more sensible option. I need to be able to get coal from the, from over there up to there. And I need to be able to get that from up there back to here. Then steel and slag both need to be brought back this way. I want steel to that one and I want slag over to that one. In order to be able to move those effectively, how am I going to do this? Right. I'm going to want a bigger station there. We need to get some materials delivered there. So I'm going to want a station at that one. I'm going to want a station there. And I'm going to want a station up there as well if I'm going to do this. Or I could go with road transports. I mean, what do these say? Just deliver steel for export. I'm wondering if we should go for a road network on this one. Avoid trains altogether. Don't do anything to do with trains. And Oh, we did get some. We got a million. We, we've now got 16 million instead of 15 million. I'm wondering if we should do roads all the way through. All right, because we, we'd set up the, the um, delivery points in the middle of these different cities. And we can have the, the road transport network things outside. So you've got the bus tram, not the bus tram station. Um, I don't want that one. I want this one here. So I've got a truck station. I've got a large truck station with three cargo terminals. So I want a small truck station here with this one. This I'm going to set up road network all the way around to start with. And then should we decide to change our minds later on, then that's what we will do. Um, so we will, well, we will not necessarily change our minds, just that we can do things a little bit differently if we want to. Right, even all the way out down here, it's still close enough. So I'm going to bring that one around like that. There. So right on the corner of that road, it's close enough that it's being supplied with the ore. So I'm going to go there. One loading station on the ore is going to be absolutely fine. Uh, we'll go over to the quarry and we will set one up over here. So I want to do exactly the same again. I'll take a standard small truck station and I'm going to bring that one round. And I'm going to drop that one right there like that. Then, I'll worry about that one in a minute. Coal, over here. We'll do that one. So you and truck station over here. Let's take you back a little bit. And you're going to go right there like that. Then we can come over to this one. That farm is not doing anything at the moment. I've got this one here. Now, later on, if we do go for train stations, we, we do need to sort of plan for that a little bit. So this one, I'm going to swing this one round. And this one's going to go on this side. Like that. Although I'm thinking a large truck station for this one would be a better option. So I'm going to dump a large truck station there. And then we need to head over here. I want a large truck station for that one. Which is going to go here. To turn that. And that's going to go in there. Construction not possible. Right. Well, that one will go there. That picks up foodstuffs. That one's going to go there for a large truck station. And then I've got another one over here, which is delivering two things and taking one thing away. That can be a large truck station as well. So we will do the same on this one. And you can go right there like that. Then I'm going to... Right, I've, I've done that one. I've done that one. I need a large truck station up on this one up here. So the last large truck station that we want. And I want this one on the south side of this. It's going to go right there like that. There. So we've got that one, which will head over. It, it can split out between all of them. That one there is only a small truck station. I'm thinking that is a mistake, that that should be a big truck station looking at it or maybe I already have got a big truck station yes looking at that I have a big truck station there that's okay I've done that right uh, next 
we're going to want to be able to deliver and split up foodstuffs going into the three cities. So for that, we're also going to want deliveries. But I would say a small truck station in each city is going to be what we're going to want for that one. So I drop that in there. That's going to feed the whole of central, the, the, the whole of the central area. If I drop that in, that's going to be just about all of it. Is that going to be enough? If I drop that in, that's the, uh, I'm, I've got to be careful about which ones are removed. I have to put in an extra road or something in here. Because if I drop it up there, it doesn't feed the city. So we need it to go somewhere where it can feed the city. I might end up needing two of these. I might need to say put... Well, one there isn't going to be right. But if I was to drop one there and then drop another one up there and connect that road back round. I don't know if I need to have two in here or not. I'm going to start off by putting one right in there. See, we've got... See, that's like the main pub. I'm going to be removing the main pub from this entire city, which I don't think is a good thing. I don't want to be removing the pub. We've got to, we've got to plan this insertion very, very carefully. Let's, let's try spinning that one round. And seeing what happens if I put it into there. That's going to cover a big chunk of the town, isn't it? And I could bring it out like that so that I don't have to cover quite as much. 172,000 because I've had to get rid of a building there. Then I can go into road and we've got a 20 medium street. Right, the problem with this... Construction is not possible. I can take it out that way. But it won't connect in there because of where I've gone and put it, which is a bit of a jolly nuisance. That really is a bit of a jolly nuisance, which means that I'm going to have to get rid of that one for 150,000, which I really didn't want to do. So then you will go... Like that, and you can move slightly to the side and then join it in there for another 10,000. That was poorly planned. But it's done now. We can't change it. So we will move back over here. And I want to build much the same thing in here. I want a small truck station that will feed the town. Now, somewhere in the middle like that would be an ideal situation. But, I mean, we could always put it over here somewhere. If I can drop it into the middle. It's dropping it out onto the edge that we don't really want to do because it doesn't cover the entire town. We want it to be able to cover the whole town. From, from what I've learned from previous ones that we've done... Alright, two buildings will be destroyed there. I can drop it right there. One building will be lost. Most of the town will then be serviced and I can always go and build a second one later should I need to and uh, we've just got Gottberg to do so another small truck station here that one sort of covers a chunk of the town this one over here I would say am I going to be able to Service the town and only remove one building. I don't think I can. Um, I move that into there. Yeah, this town is a lot harder to actually supply. I am definitely going to... If, if I want to be able to supply this whole town, I'm going to need two of these. I can't drop you in there. And this is not liking the idea of doing that. Let me try spinning that one round. I'm putting it in from this side. I don't seem to be able to do it and only remove one piece. All right, I bring that that to there. It it still doesn't cover most of it. I think I'm going to try and go in there like that. It's going to remove one building. Yeah, we'll do that. 
And I'll remove one building like that, and then I'll put in a little bit of road. I'll go like that, and... Can't do it without removing the other building anyway, which... Yeah, well, it's done now. Right, we had to remove the building anyway. They should build another building in there, and that'll all be fine. So there I've got truck deliveries to all um, the towns, and I've got all the other deliveries that I need at the moment going to these different places. So next, we're going to start building in some lines. I'm going to go to my line manager over here, and the first line is going to go from there over to the steel mill over here. So there's one line right there. You're done. I'm going to build another line, and this one is going to go from the coal over to that one over there. So that's line two. There's quite a long way. I'm wondering if I should build a shortcut row. I don't think I will. We'll leave that for a moment. So there's another line. Then I'm going to want another line that goes from this depot at the steel mill. And that is going to need to come down to that one down there. That's line three down there. That's all it's going to... Actually, no. That one there is going to run both of these. It's going to be taking finished products. So it's going to be running both of those lines right there. Over to that one and over to this one. And then the return journey. That one can go. This one here, I want a line from here going up to you right there. Like that. Get rid of that one. And then you down this side. I need quarried stone coming from this one. So quarried stone... Wait a minute. Before I go doing too much else, we're going to have one central location for all of our vehicles. They'll we'll sort of we'll, we'll drop that near this steel mill, I think. We'll drop one down over here somewhere. That's going to be a central location for all our vehicles. It'll be nice and easy. Uh, tram depot and a road depot. So we're only going to need one road depot. I know that it would probably be better using others, but I'm going to do that like that. And then I'm going to have a look in here a minute. So in 1914, what have we got? So passengers, we've got the Le Besson, we've got the Landauer, and we've got the post bus. So we could set up some uh, passenger routes as well, which would probably be a good idea. We'll do that later. And we've got these. So I've got the DMG Canstat, which will move slag, steel, stone. That will move everything, right? That literally takes a whole lot. The Benz, right here, that one will take a capacity of 6. The Benz is a capacity of 8. That one, again, does take everything, which is good. And then I've got the horse and cart over here. This has a capacity of 5. And, again, this one does take everything. So, that one's 21,000. And it has a lifespan of 20 years. This one is 65,000 with a lifespan of 30 years, estimated running cost of 10,000 per year. This one is 3,000 per year, and it's not a huge difference, but it's the speed that's the difference. That's a 40k, this one is 20k, so this one's double the speed, and that one here is 25k, so that one doesn't really come into it. So it's I, I would say the Benz is the vehicle of choice. So I've got a vehicle of choice established. Now the question is, how am I going to do this? Am I going to run from the quarry over to here to pick up the slag, uh, pick up the stone from the quarry and the slag from up there and bring both of them down to here? Or am I going to... Because I've got steel and slag being brought down to these two on one route. But I'm thinking that the quarry... I'll do, I will. I will do that as a separate route. So I will go... Like that, and I will go from the quarry all the way down here to that one down there. So that's the quarry down there. All right, it's just going to be a single run through the quarry. I do wonder if I should build another road through here. How? Let's let's just see a minute. How much another road? I go over the medium country road like this. It's actually bigger than the other road that I've got, and I can take that over to there. 
through tunnels and over bridges for about two million. If I was to do that sensibly, I would do it for considerably less. Um, I could do this to bring it over there. But I'd be looking at a small fortune to take it all the way across there. That's 1.8 million with all the cuts and everything and the tunnel as well. Um, I got 14 million, so no, I'm not going to do that. I mean, leave that. I'll leave the road. So I've now got five routes that I need to populate with vehicles. So we're going to go into here and I'm going to buy road vehicles. Freight. What are we going to do to start with? I want ore going from there down to here and then I want the coal route as well. And I would say if we're taking eight at a time, we're looking at... So look at you. Limit 100. Details stored and potential. Products here. Right. I'm going to say that I want five vehicles on each of these routes. So I need to buy five of these to start with. One, two, three, four, five, like that. And then I want to go set line all, line one. Then I want to buy another five. One, two, three, four, five. And I want to set line all for line two. So that's bringing the coal back. Then I want to be going from here back to... The qua that's going to go to the harbour and to the other location. That one I'm going to go and I'm going to buy eight vehicles to run that line. There. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Set line all line three. Line four is the line that is running up to there, isn't it? Is that line four? Where's line four? Line 4 is going from here back up to that point right there. So that's delivering a finished product. Now, we haven't even got that one ready yet, but I'm still going to take some vehicles out and I'm going to have it running. That one, we're going to do 5 on it. And then this one over here, the quarry, is going to take 8. So I'll go 5 on here. 5 like that. Set line all for line 4. And then I'm going to buy 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight like that and set line all and that is going to be the quarry line could very well want to change a whole load of these later and let's start that up shall we so I got a huge number of vehicles coming out of here rather noisily there we go we've got a big old fleet coming out of here look at them roll there's, there's, there's going to be a lot of vehicles coming out of there so while they start to move look at that while they start to move out and start to do their various different things, I'm going to go on here and we're going to start setting these up for automatic replacements. So I'm going to do that, lifespan percentages, and uh, turn that on. Right. So I will do the same on all of these. Let's zoom back a little bit further just to get away from those vehicles a second. We'll select the vents on there and turn that one on. So it's line one and line two, automatic replacement. And you, that on line four. We will also have that. Wait a minute, there. To you, okay. Turn that on. And line five in here. Select you, go for the bends, okay, and turn that on. Right, so I've got all of the vehicles out on the roads that we need to have but i don't have is roads going around like doing uh, different transport and stuff and i also don't yet have set up from there well folks that's all we've got time for today we'll be back again very soon turning yet more pristine natural landscapes into booming industrial wasteland but before then if you enjoyed this video, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.